When I grew up, I only knew St. Vincent de Paul as a thrift store as well. And that's what I thought St. Vincent de Paul was. It was just this store with all this used stuff. Uh, to me, that was the way that St. Vincent de Paul helped people. And little did I know that there's so much that goes on behind the scenes, so much more that goes on behind the scenes. And it's really, it's about uh, those out in the community that do home visits. The home visit really is the foundation of St. Vincent de Paul. It's not a thrift store at all. In Green Bay, for instance, the biggest utilization of programs is through our rental assistance or utility assistance. We are locally governed, and we are able to determine how we feel best to attack the challenges of our community. We provide vouchers in the stores for clothing, for basic needs. Not only be able to get a person to stay in their home, but to keep the electricity going in their home, and then also to provide them the basic needs in their home. Those are the, really the foundational programs that we utilize the most. When people ask the question about how we're different from other charities, I start with the home visit. Because we have these Vincentians who emulate the St. Vincent de Paul mission of helping those in need and meeting them where they're at. Where they go out in pairs into the homes, those Vincentians are the ones that uh, really make a difference. And the neat thing is that they get a benefit from that as well. It's not just that they know that they're providing things in the store for people to buy, but they have that camaraderie. My name is Mary Graves. I'm just a volunteer working in the flower department. People don't know that a lot of our floral arrangements downstairs are made from scratch, not just given from other people. My husband and I were in automotive business for over 40 years. With him passing, I had time on my hands and it was time for me to give back. So there's so many different areas that people can lend their talents and their time. And we've had people say as volunteers that I need this place more than it needs me. There's a lot more to college than just learning and making new friends, that it's a lot about learning how to give back to your community. If you stay on campus, you're really just looking at the social and academic aspects of college. I think college really is about growing as an individual. The best way to do that is to go out into your community, go serve others, and go meet new people. I come from a college where it's a relatively affluent student body who may not think of the things that they might not have on a daily basis, or think of the fact that they may be in need of clothing or can't afford something they need for their house and being here really makes me appreciate that there are uh, groups in the community who are working to help people who struggle with that. When we walk in you think oh it's just a big thrift store but it's so much more than that. Um, there's lots of behind the scenes work that you find and there's lots of people who do the intricate work with it. We're part of this uh, organization and just doing something to help out. I definitely recommend um, going out and volunteering at St. Vincent de Paul. I think there's something for everyone, and if you go seek it out, you can definitely find something that will interest you. It's, it's a real simple process to become a volunteer at St. Vincent de Paul. It's really just to express an interest. And we have all people of all different ages, uh, people with all different backgrounds, people with different stories. And it may be for an hour a week. It may be for an hour a day. So it's really, it varies from person to person where their interests lie and, and how we can best utilize them and what they want to accomplish. The, the only requirement to be a volunteer is really to have that passion to help those in our community, to help uh, have a passion to help those in need. And that's what we really need, a burning desire to help others, to be able to take their eyes off themselves and realize what they can do.